Hello and welcome to our Latin American history lesson on why is National Hispanic Heritage Month celebrated? The materials you will need for today will be a piece of notebook paper, your journal, a pen, or a pencil. Your learning goal will be to understand why Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated between September 15th and October 15th and how it was originated. Your essential question will be, what is the difference between Hispanic and Latino? This is a question that is commonly asked. I'm gonna give you a moment to jot your thoughts down and explain what you think the difference is. Latino is a term that tells you about geography. For example, a person who is born or lives in South America, Central America, or Mexico is Latino. It is also a person in the United States whose family is originally from South America, Central America, or Mexico. Hispanic is a term that tells you about language, such as a person who comes from a Latin American country where they speak Spanish. It is also a Spanish-speaking person living in the United States, especially one of Latin American descent. For example, Hispanics include Spain, but do not include Brazil, because their primary language is Portuguese. Latinos include Brazil, but do not include Spain. There are several Latin American countries that use both Latino and Hispanic such as those noted in the Venn diagram. A few examples are Puerto Rico, Argentina, Mexico, Cuba, and El Salvador. The term Hispanic was not added to the United States Census until 1980, and Latino was not added until the year 2000. And then there is the term Latinx, which arose as a gender neutral alternative to Latino and Latina in 2014. For those of Latin American descent who do not identify as being of the female or male gender, and who simply don't want to be identified by gender. It has been used by the media, social media, journalists, and university officials. According to Mario Carrasco of the market research agency ThinkNow, only 2% of America's Latinos said they preferred the term. Based on the nationwide survey conducted by 508 United States Hispanics, it was noted that the United States Hispanics prefer to self-identify as Hispanic to describe their ethnicity. The terms Latino, Latina ranked second, and the social media favorite Latinx is the least preferred identity overall resonating with only 2% of respondents. It is also important to note that there are linguistic variations in Latin America. For example, in Spain, a coche is an automobile, while in most of Latin America, it is a carriage. In Mexico, a camion is a bus, while in Cuba, it is a truck. Argentinians call an apartment a departamento, while in most of Latin America, it is an apartamento. And it is also important to note that Spanish is the second most spoken language in the United States. Which Latino groups do you think are the largest in the United States? Is it Cuban Americans, Puerto Ricans, Mexican Americans, or all of the above? If you said all of the above, then you are correct. With Mexican Americans accounting for two thirds of the American Hispanic population, the United States has the second largest Hispanic population in the world. Mexico is the first. 
More than 50% of the Latino population in the United States live in Texas, California, and Florida. Hispanic Heritage Month started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under the 36th United States President, Lyndon B. Johnson. It was then expanded by the 40th United States President, Ronald Reagan, in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on September 15th and ending on October 15th. It was enacted into law on August 17th, 1988. Hispanic Heritage Month begins on September 15th, which is significant because it is the anniversary of several National Independence Days for Latin American countries, such as Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica, El Salvador, and Guatemala, which all became independent countries, which are now called Central America. In addition, Mexico celebrates their independence on September 16th, Chile on September 18th, and Belize on September 21st. Columbus Day, or El Día de la Raza, is October the 12th, which falls within this 30-day period. Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates the rich culture and historic traditions of Hispanic Americans whose roots go back to Mexico, Spain, the Spanish-speaking nations of South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Hispanic Heritage Month also highlights the achievements and contributions made by Hispanics and Latinos. It is vital that the representation of Latino cultures and history are infused into the curriculum to foster the academic success of all students. Here are some examples of how the School District of Palm Beach County celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month. We're really excited because we're highlighting and we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, we were able to bring it to life. We had Lake Worth Middle School that was here to do a wax museum to really highlight those prominent leaders and, con and contributors. And we also had various talent here from different schools. We were excited to see them sing, dance, a lot of artwork, a lot of artwork from Loggers Run Middle School, uh, Boca Raton High School. We also had Lake Worth High School. It was wonderful to see everybody just relax. You know, have fun, enjoy the culture, enjoy and understand the customs, the traditions. Hi, I'm Patricia Trejo, Administrative Program Planner for Hispanic Latino Studies for the School District of Palm Beach County. This is an exciting night here at Forest Hill High School in West Palm Beach for our Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. The program featured performances from Berkshire Elementary, Forest Hill High School, John I. Leonard High School, Okehealy Middle School, West Boca Raton High School, and Woodlands Middle School. The highlight was our guest speaker, Jonathan Chat Arabach, the Council General of Mexico. Mr. Arabach inspires students to succeed in our global economy. Well, I would suggest to them to do what they love to do to really get into uh, the different topics that they might be interested. He also offered his advice to Hispanic students who have recently immigrated to the United States. 
I will tell them to be very proud of their heritage. The more uh, they know about themselves, the more comfortable with they will be. So that will be easier for them to be part of this country. Students say the performers and speakers fill them with even more Hispanic pride. I think it's very good to get other people to know about Hispanics and to know about what we do, what we eat, how we dress, how we dance, the music we listen to, everything like that. We're very hard workers and it's very nice to show people and show Americans and America our, our Hispanic heritage and our blood. The school district of Palm Beach County has plans for several events throughout Hispanic Heritage Month. As we come to a close, I want you to take a moment and write in your journal and explain why we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and how it was originated. And I also want you to go ahead and explain the difference between Hispanic and Latino. Thank you so much for participating today. I am confident that you have achieved the learning objective, which was to understand why we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and how it was originated. Until next time, adios.